Audi TT is and always has been one of the best small premium coupes on the market. In 1999, when it was originally launched, everyone wanted one. They portrayed the image of a young person doing all right in life. You probably thought it was difficult to improve on the first generation, and then Audi launched the second generation, better in every way. Great looking car, more aggressive lines, stronger road presence, it means business. Inside the cabin, the buttons and controls are of the Audi quality that we've come to expect. I particularly like the brushed aluminium surrounding the air vents. Standard equipment includes airbags, climate control, heated mirrors and Isofix, would you believe, because I really see this as a family car. Some models come with part leather, whilst the V6 and the TTS come with full leather, 18 inch alloys and a few other choice bits. Some extras that you can have multifunction steering wheel, sat nav and a through load hatch which can accommodate 1.9 metre long skis which would be fantastic if I was a skier. Something that really impresses me about modern and in particular Audi engineering is how much power they can get out of a relatively small engine. The 2 litre FSI for example has a 0-60 to time of just 6.1 seconds and achieves a figure of 43 mpg. Another thing I really like about the engines is how good they sound. Now obviously if you go for the diesel variants you are going to compromise slightly on performance and you're not going to get that great sound. However, you are looking at 53 mpg. It's effortless to drive, the steering feels precise and accurate, it feels sure on the road. It's the kind of car that puts a smile on your face when you're driving it. It turns every journey into a pleasurable one, long or short. It's fun to drive fast. And at more sedate speeds, it's actually rather comfortable. With so many positives, it's difficult to think of any negatives, but like with most cars, it's not perfect. The main problem with this one is the space in the back. I'm only five foot four and a half, and I struggle to sit in the back. It is so cramped in here. These seats are definitely not designed to accommodate your average sized adult. Also, if you want to stand out from the crowd, you're not going to in this because there's quite a few of them on the road. And if you want one with a good spec, you'll find that the options are quite expensive. Those aside, this TT makes an excellent choice for somebody who wants a sports coupe that delivers in terms of performance, fuel economy, driving pleasure, and a premium look. In fact, I'd be quite happy to own one myself.